Well, holy smoke, is it ain't no joke, as guys, you might want to hide your kids and wives for this story, okay? Because holy crap, what, what just went down is truly just insane, right? We got a clip from Dr. Disrespect as well, and he has responded once again. Like the video if you love your mama, like the video if you love God. Let's go for two likes on the video, and I will play you that Dr. Disrespect clip. And right now, there's a lot of stories going around. There are a lot of rumors going around as well, and some of them are proven legit, some of them are proven fake. I'm not talking about the allegations, of course, Dr. Disrespect has been banned because of the allegations that happened like a couple of months ago. We heard about them, happened like a couple of years ago. Whether you believe it or not that's up to you we're not necessarily talking about it but that's the main reason why he was banned on twitch and he's not banned on youtube but youtube has demonetized his channel and they have rejected him once again so they're not approving him essentially he's now working for youtube but for free is what's going on and kick which is absolutely wild right because kick has rejected him kick is like nah bruh we don't want to sign you at, at, at first like they were willing to give dr disrespect 10 million and dr disrespect was like bro you suck has got to give me 50 million so kick rejected him and then we heard reports that rumble is rejected him but rumble rejecting part was actually false that is fake news but kick did reject him and kick and rumble these are these platforms are essentially you know it's like twitch jail youtube jail if you go banned if you get banned on twitch if you get banned on youtube you go on kick you go on rumble and rumble has been growing man i like rumble i like rumble but kick is like a twitch jail and you know we had horror stories after horror stories from kick i want to play you this clip though so shout out to the homie jake lucky roll it what are we doing guys what what the frick are we doing get your drink in your hand maybe your snack in the other and let's enjoy this as recently this week we talked about the news where kick ceo eddie actually said hey it's a waste of money to sign dr disrespect and he confirmed this with slasher as they came on their weekly kick podcast which i thought Wait, was actually it? a very good back and forth debate okay. but here's kick ceo saying hey we're not signing down. Uh, yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Tranquilo, papi. Now, all I'm gonna say here is that, guys, control your dragons, bruh. Control your BBCs, control your BWCs or LBCs or LWCs, whatever you got. I don't wanna know none about it, bro. Just control your dragons, man. Your dragons can lead you on dangerous paths, okay? And also, if you're a man, try to not share these two following things, okay? Never share your car and never share your wife, though. Because if you do, you're gonna get it back, but in a banged up state though. Like the video for the wisdom out here, man. Dr. Disrespect, it simply makes no sense. You said right. that it was too early to say if you were going to ban or let Dr. Disrespect stream on the platform. Uh, would you ever offer at this time him a contract considering he does not have one? Uh, monetization options have not been reverted back to his YouTube stream. Um, do you have any difference of opinion than what you had a couple months ago? Um, yeah, making a deal with Dr. Disrespect, like from a financial and a business perspective right now would make zero sense, right? Like it, it would do more harm for kick and it would Bruh. be a waste of money at this point Damn. in time, in my opinion. Uh, Damn. Yeah. I uh, know again without getting into drama, I'm just looking at this from a bit. Okay, so this is where that story originated from, right? So wait for it. I wanna show you guys the the Dr. Disrespect response as well. So Kick denied him. And right after that, we heard this Dexardo reported that Rumble reportedly joined Kick in declining the this uh, to shine Dr. Disrespect to a big contract despite previous offers. This one came from Slasher, and I believe this is Slasher, could be wrong, I think. This is Slasher, this is the CEO of Kick, right? So he, CEO of Kick, they denied doctor disrespect that's factual and initially they were looking pre allegations they were looking to offer doctor disrespect like 10 million dollars though oh, and doctor disrespect was like nah bro 50 million or it ain't about it it ain't it okay so yes uh, that's what happened i mean damn homie like you should have took that deal bruv 10 million dollars you denied that i mean damn man you crazy for that one but okay i mean fair right like he already got i mean he already has millions so for him 10 million is like yeah whatever right but still crazy because right now he's not monetized on youtube so kick denied him and then quickly after we heard that uh, rumble is reportedly doing the same uh this one came from slasher once again dr disrespect responded by saying that well let's Let's ask the CEO of Rumble right now. Hey, Chris, is this confirmed? And Chris, the CEO for Rumble, he's verified. Uh, so he comes out, says, I add Slasher to the list of the lying corporate <laughs> media. We have never declined having Dr. Disrespect on Rumble. 
It makes you really wonder what else these reporters are lying about in order to get clicks on Dr. Disrespect's in Dr. Disrespect's name. Yo, that is crazy. All right, let's get back to it. Business perspective, it would be a waste of money. And of course, this was going to garner a response because why would Doc not respond to all of this? And shortly after these clips all went out, uh, Doc had a, had a statement uh, about Kick, saying, I'd retire before considering streaming on Kick. My community is the best in the industry. I wouldn't take it there. There's a reason why they keep dropping my name. Think about it. And at this point, this, this has to be the character, I'm assuming, because it doesn't take a genius, and that's me, not the genius, to go back and find just months ago where he was yeah. asking Kick there for $50 yeah, million. Yeah, yeah. Even talking about on stream that Kick had offered him $10 million a year and not even mentioned gambling in his contract, which he supposedly didn't take because he wanted $50 million no. instead. Like I said, I mean... Yeah, name your pry. 50 million. Damn, dog, you crazy for that, man. 50 million. Hey, man, can a brother get like 50 pennies or something like that? Two pennies? 50 pennies, that might be too much, right? Can a brother get two pennies, yo? Hey, yo, two pennies? I mean, two they, penny. they had a great. Two penny gang, rise up! It's just number 10 mil per year, zero gambling, but it's just not enough. Like like I said, I, hey, and it's no hard feelings. I, I appreciate the $10 million offer per year kick. Okay. But the number's 50 million. I'm not budging from that one. Huh? 50 not million, budging? get the two time. Okay. Get the two times. If not, I, I'm not interested in moving. Community's too strong here. So I get it. You know, Kick didn't have to make that statement. Although, you know, Slasher asked the question. Wait they can't it. really uh, avoid that question, right? It puts yeah, yeah, them yeah, in, yeah, a, yeah. In, a, in a bigger, you know, hole probably on the situation if they don't respond to it. So I, I understand uh, Eddie had to answer the question and, and maybe Doc had to respond. At the end of the day, though, he remains on YouTube as of right and yes he's on youtube and apparently he got rejected on youtube once again which is wild because what we're hearing is that youtube gave him the option to reapply for a monetization and, and they waited like 30 days right they have 30 days to respond and they could have responded within like a day two days okay let's just say a week or maybe even 10 days youtube responded on the last day and they just declined his monetization request which is kind of shitty though let's let's be real right they could have rejected him day one or you know what i mean right uh, and now they're saying that you can reapply in 60 days to which uh, dr disrespect responded by saying this roll it streamer news we have dr disrespect now after the whole drama going down with the doc and losing his monetization on youtube dr disrespect had to reapply to get monetized on youtube but in the latest news the doc received bad news from youtube while sharing additional information here's a clip Unfortunately, they pushed it back another 60 days. They yeah. waited to the very last second last night to tell us we're going to extend and then you'll be el re eligible to reapply and we'll review the application. Yeah, I would say like either monetize the guy or uh, no pun intended, his name is actually Guy. If you say my guy, that would be kind of gay actually. So don't say that because his name is Guy. So if you say his name is Guy, G-U-Y, why, 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 uh, Bruh. yeah, G-U-Y, Guy Beam, right, that's his name. So if you say my guy, that would be kind of gay, actually, so, yeah, but, uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just saying, like, either don't monetize them or, or monetize them, like, simple as that, right, simple as that, why wait at the last day, last day, Cause that's that's wild. I mean that that is kind of crazy, man. That is kind of crazy. That's pretty shitty though. And it seems like that YouTube might do the same thing. So he's gonna reapply in 60 days. Maybe they're gonna accept him. Maybe not. There's a, another clip that I wanna share with you. Wait for it. But uh... but you know what, champs? I might have something much much bigger. One of the, one of the biggest opportunities to date for the two time. But I don't wanna. Uh... But that's what they said. Bigger? During his explanation of getting pushed back from YouTube for another 60 days, Dr. Disrespect hinted at that he has something bigger planned and Main it's one of his biggest opportunities. Again? And that could be possibly signing with Rumble. As the CEO of Rumble tweeted out, quoting Dr. Disrespect's tweet, make gaming great again. Is Rumble the X version of a live streaming platform? Here's a genuine question. Hypothetically speaking, Chris, if I may, regarding the recent drama surrounding at Asmongold, would he have been banned for what he stated on Twitch? Nobody has posited how he should have said it. I'm not sure yeah. what was said, but typically for content violations, we do not ban outright unless it's egregious. If they violate our terms we issue a strike first and we hope this allows the creator to learn and correct right of course forgiveness is uh forgiveness is something we believe in now I, I like i like the the i like rumble though i like rumble man uh, i like the it's like a youtube jail i mean if you get banned on youtube that's where you go i, I prefer rumble over kick absolutely 
Um, and, and yeah, Rumble has been steadily growing, and it's good to see that. It's good to see that regardless whether you use Rumble or not, regardless whether you like or not, it's like a competitor to YouTube. Oh, of course, they still got long ways to go. I mean, we're talking Google here, we're talking YouTube here. I love YouTube, though. I love YouTube, uh, but... Uh, yeah, Rumble is also uh, doing some good things as well, and uh, forgiveness is something we believe in. Yeah, that's good. You don't want to just ban people straight away. You want to hear things out, first of all, and uh, yeah, issue a strike. Maybe they learn from it. Learn and grow from and if they do not learn and grow, then yeah, okay, then understandably, then you uh, ban, right? Uh, makes sense, but to just ban people deadass, which is just, just crazy, right? Because we have seen no exaggeration okay no exaggeration guys we have seen female streamers getting banged up live on a twitch stream in a gaming stream on twitch do you want to know how wh what they what they get in return three day suspension and you know this is why you constantly see memes like hey the queen would be back by monday you probably heard that like in a youtube comment you probably seen people uh posted that over on twitter there's a reason for it because the queens Strong, independent, strong, 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 strong. And listen, man, I love my queens, man. I love my strong, independent queens. But, bro, if you're gonna have a gaming stream and you're getting ba uh, banged up live, you're getting banged live on stream, and you're getting, like, three-day ban <laughs> versus a man, right? Like, if a man did something like that, bruh, he would have been thrown in another dimension. You remember Gideon? I feel like that he got unbanned now. You remember Aisha Speed? I'm not sure if he's still banned on uh, on Twitch or not, but he was banned for saying certain things, which of course he shouldn't have said that, but like, bruh, like, bruh. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Perma banned versus three day suspension. Just because I'm a queen, I can get banged up. Oh yeah, I yeah 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, bro, what the hell, man? What are we talking about? It's like a crime being a man right now, man. Damn. Uh, I'm I'm not connecting this story with Doctor Disrespect, okay? Like, of course, the allegations with Doctor Disrespect they are truly wild. I'm not talking about that. Not connecting this with that or that with this, okay? Hopefully that makes sense, but. Bruh. Let's something continue. we believe in. What are you guys' thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments below. How to kept Mr. Beast and puts him on a golden pedestal. So I'd say this predator is also safe to continue his... Uh, and yeah, there's like a whole lot of Mr. Beast situation going around, which I don't want to get into in this one. We already talked about it, but check this out. So this is the follow-up, right? Shout out to eight villains for this one. Roll it. Also, Rumble is reportedly not willing to give Dr. Disrespect a streaming contract. Let's talk about it. So a lot of you probably have never heard right, of Rumble, right. but Rumble is another streaming platform or place that you can create content similar to that of like a YouTube. You can live stream, you can create content on Rumble. Yeah, yeah. And so obviously, you know, Dr. Disrespect, as he's kind of in this transitional period following all those allegations that came out, he's been banned from Twitch and yeah. YouTube. He's not monetized as of yet. And so he's definitely looking for his next contract. So he's trying to get that last bag trying to get that last contract and take in as much as he possibly can because he still has a massive audience. Well, in an article coming to us from Dexterto, Rumble is reportedly not willing to offer Dr. Disrespect a streaming contract. Rumble is open to allowing Dr. Disrespect to stream on their platform, but reportedly haven't offered him a contract as of his return to YouTube. Dr. Disrespect lost a ton of friends, sponsorships, and streaming deals in June after former Twitch employees revealed that he was banned on the site and on friends this is what dr disrespect said of course like we, we i just covered the story like this is all false but wait for it this is all false i mean uh, i to be fair though i think i think dr disrespect might do a multi-stream in the future where he's streaming on youtube and streaming on rumble at the same time i think that would be in his best interest so he's gonna get a partnership with rumble right so he's getting money through that and on rumble you're also going to be monetized of course the monetization wouldn't be i'm assuming it wouldn't be that good in comparison to youtube but it's still going to be something right and at the same time you got most people watching you on youtube so you keep streaming on youtube and you tell those people hey i'm on rumble as well so people watch you on just like fresh and fed like they stream on youtube <laughs> they stream on twitch they stream everywhere right they stream on rumble and youtube uh, and it's like that I, I feel like that that's probably what he's gonna do and if he does that that's kind of smart on his 
we have we have uh whether you like the guy or not like the guy hey that's up to you i'm not getting into that but i'm just observation just making an observation uh but this is what doctor this is and i'm covering the news guys uh, trying to be unbiased from the situation here uh doctor disrespect uh also responded by saying real ones don't need an audience and he hit a lot of those replies man oh my goodness so you know people are saying yeah so he's hiding all of these real ones have young real ones have young daughters get over yourself creep okay uh i don't know what's what's up with that uh shut up p okay that kind of makes sense but still kind of wild all right i'm not saying i agree with it uh or anything like that a minor problem <laughs> your opinions are automatically invalid uh doctor you get that one here cannot say that word real yeah this was actually kind of like funny kind of makes sense but hey uh real ones don't text underage girls either damn oh, oh, damn you know that's crazy because this first reply don't make sense, man. Real ones have young daughters. Get over yourself, Chris. Real ones. I mean, even he, a doctor, to suspect has a daughter, though. He or maybe it's a maybe it's a, a he has a son or a daughter. I think it's a daughter, but I could be wrong. Could be wrong, okay. But this uh, this comment don't make sense, though. The other one, I mean, made sense there big time. But yeah, so he says that real ones don't need an audience. He replied, responded, or quoted the tweet of Jake Shields where this is what's, like you said, you, what's being said. If my friend does something I really don't like, I'm not going to publicly condemn him. I'll give him a private phone call and be like, oh, I don't like you did that. You just never should publicly bash your friends, in my opinion. Yeah, Even if they do something bad. There's been a lot of that with Dr. Disrespect, Cody Ko. There seems to be a new one every week or two. Yeah, Nick Merckx as well, and Z Laner as well. Z Laner parted ways as well with Doc as well. That is, oh, I mean, that's his personal decision, though, so I'm not going to like criticize him over that i guess he should have talked behind the scenes with him or but but i mean it's individuals uh decision so but uh, wait for it yeah. yeah it's pathetic just no loyalty like have a little loyalty to your friend especially these things they're gonna last a week then everyone's gonna forget you know when i see celebrities and stuff do this it's just disgusting it's cringe yeah i always have such loyalty yeah. to my friends they're trying to save True. face but it's not how you save face you lose a friendship i grew up super loyal but to me it's all about loyalty so when i see this i'm like wow you know and occasionally a friend will do something i really don't like i'm not gonna go out and blast him on twitter <laughs> That's respect, though. Yeah, I just can't believe this generation. Like, they don't understand friendships. It's soft, dude. It's super soft. You say the wrong thing, they'll cut you off. If my uh, on this one, I agree, but of course, like, Dr. Disrespect allegations were more than just him saying the wrong thing or the right thing, right? Of course, like, his allegations were he mess he sexted a minor, right? You know what I mean? These are the allegations, guys. That's the news, right? And then Dr. Disrespect kind of admitted in his uh, post he deleted that and now this is where we're at right so it was bigger than just uh, saying the right thing or the wrong thing it was bigger than that but overall i agree with this message though right you don't like <laughs> yeah i mean if you don't like what your friends have said on tw uh, twitter you don't just go on twitter and start bashing your friends online right you don't do that so i do agree with this message but of course in the case of doc different story but let's get back to this one yeah i'll roll this one for Wait sending for inappropriate dms to a minor doc real named guy beam confessed to the allegations in a since deleted tweet but in his return to youtube accused twitch of orchestrating the ban, claiming that the messages used to justify removing him were taken out of context. Prior to the ban reason being revealed, many sites showed an interest in signing Dr. Disrespect, including free speech platform Rumble. Rumble in 2023, Rumble, yeah. Rumble CEO Chris Pavlovsky told Dexterto that he would love to have Dr. Disrespect after signing Kai oh, Senate and I Show Speed. What? Oh, so they also signed Kai Senate and I Show Speed? That's crazy. Uh, but yeah, of course, Kaisenet is also on Twitch right now, right? To an exclusive show. We're interested in basically everyone that wants to create authentic content and create content without barriers. Fast forward a year and it doesn't seem like any such offer is on the table. As of his return anyway, citing anonymous sources, journalist Rod Slasher Breslow Claim Doc won't be getting anything from Rumble anytime soon. At the time of Dr. Disrespect's return last month, there was no current offer from Rumble, Slasher said. This revelation comes just days after Kick's co-founder, Edward Craven, ruled out signing Doc. Making a deal with Dr. Right. Disrespect from a financial and business perspective right now 
would make zero sense. I still think that Dr. Disrespect has one of the biggest followings, you know, oh, yeah, really sure. in the entire gaming world. And so I think a lot of this just has to do with the allegations and the ban and all of those things that are against Dr. Disrespect at this point in time. Days later, Beam called out the platform claiming he'd retire before considering streaming on Kick. My community is the best in the industry. I wouldn't take it there. There's a reason why they keep dropping my name. Think about it, he said. Then Aiden Ross subsequently accused Dr. Disrespect of lying, claiming that he had an offer on the table for the Twitch ban fiasco, but turned it down. This lines up with Doc's own words. The streamer said he had turned down a $10 million a year offer from yeah. Kick, stating that he was worth $50 million. That is crazy. Yeah, I, I mean, we saw that clip, right? Doctor did say that, hey, $50 million, $50 million. I need the $50 million right now, right now. I need the $50 million, brothers. $50 million, $50 million, or else, or get my mom, man. Get my mom. Yeah, so he did ask for 50 million. I mean, listen, man, you can ask for 100, you can ask for 200. All I'm saying here is that, can a brother get two pennies? Is that, is that so hard? Like, damn, man, can a bro brother gotta eat, though? Brother gotta eat, man. A brother gotta eat, a brother gotta eat, though. But of course, that Rumble story, like I said, is just false, right? It is uh, not true, but instead i mean we're talking massive numbers here guys regardless whether you're talking 10 million i mean he's saying he's worth 50 million i mean 10 million dollars a year to stream on kick and it wasn't even like 10 million once it was like 10 10 million per year damn doc like you crazy for that one i initially thought that it was just like 10 million once and that's it i mean even 10 million once i mean 10 million is 10 million man i'm just saying bro but okay you don't want 10 million you want 50 million 50 million 50 million but like dog you could have dog doc my bad bruh no pun intended doc bruh you know what I'm saying? Not gonna say my guy, because your name is Guy. And if I say my guy, that would be kind of gay. Uh, so, yeah, but, but Guy. Uh, I'm saying, what am I saying? I'm just saying, bro, 10 million a year, that is ludicrous. That is an insane value, insane number. You crazy for rejecting that. Anyhow, guys, check out this video on the screen. Recently, this what happened. He got caught cheating in Call of Duty. Of course. <laughs> check this video out, and I'll see you right there, man.